Okay, friends, it's time to make my Halloween costume. Last video where I was decorating my room, I kind of very vaguely planned my Halloween costume and I made this wonderful sketch. Um, so the, the plan was, if you haven't seen that video, to make like a um, mixture out of scary deer spirit ghost grim reaper is what I think I said. And the main piece is supposed to be a fake deer skull with like some lights incorporated. So I kind of want the eyes to be glowing and I want little lights hanging from the antlers and stuff like that. But um, one thing I also said was that I have no idea how to make a deer skull. But I did some research and like a sign from the heavens or from hell, probably a sign from someone. I found a video from SKS Props. I think it's that channel name. If not, I am so sorry. I'm going to insert this here anyways. It's a channel all about costume making, especially with EVA foam. Some foam. And they have a bunch of videos and tutorials and also free patterns, which is amazing. So definitely go check them out. They also have a deer skull. Like kind of exactly what I imagined. So now I actually think that I can make this. I've never worked with EVA foam before, but hey, when has that ever stopped me? So um, I have a box right here with all the materials. We got some foam, we got a knife, no! we got a heat gun, glue, foam clay, all the things you could wish for. And I today am going to attempt to make that deer skull from that video. I'm going to change it a bit because I want the antlers to be bigger because I want more space to like hang little things from there. I thought that maybe I could use some stained glass scraps that I have and hang them from the end. I don't know. We'll see. But the end does need to be bigger. But the rest, uh, I, I now just have a tutorial that I need to, to follow. How amazing is that? So this is going to be part one of making my costume because the deer skull is going to be the centerpiece and then I need to do the rest. But I first want to make the deer skull because I'm I just said that I think that I can make it, but I'm not very sure that I actually can because, as I said, I've never worked with these materials before. But if I'm successful, then there will be part two for the rest of my costume. But today we're just going to focus on the deer skull. Yeah, okay, that's I think all I need to say. Let's go to my workstation and let's try to create a scary costume. Also, thank you SKS Props. I really had no idea how I was going to make it. And then you just have like a video for exactly what I imagined. That's amazing. All right. See you, see you upstairs. Flashbang, unorganized workspace alert. I have already prepared the pattern pieces. So this is all, all the pieces that we need. And now it's time to cut the actual foam. I've bought a new knife just for this because all the videos that I've watched on EVA foam, I told you to use a sharp knife or you will cry. So new knife, I got the foam right here. I got the pattern pieces and now I'm just going to follow the tutorial from SKS Props. So if you're interested in how exactly this is this is going to work, how exactly this is going to turn into a deer skull, then go watch that video. I'm going to link this wherever I can link it. So I'm just now going to cut out the pieces, glue them together and then I think we are going to add some details with foam clay and then we need to make the antlers. But as I said before, the antlers I'm going to change a bit because I want them to be bigger and better. No, I'm kidding. This pattern is amazing. I didn't mean to shame it. I'm just, I need them to be different. So um, yeah, let's go. I'm kind of scared because I've never done this before, but I can do it. Surely I can. All right, all right, just... Uh... You, if you, if you don't try, you can succeed. So let's try. Let's try. <gasps> I'm terrified. All right, let's go. Okay, and from here on out, I left things to voice over me for a while because if I try to talk to you guys while crafting, I would never get anything done. So, um, but yeah, as I said, I was really just following the tutorial here, tracing the pattern pieces onto some foam, cutting it out. I didn't film that part. Don't know why. Don't question it. I'm unorganized. Okay, uh, leave me alone, please. Uh, I'm bad at my job. All right, um, but anyways, then I cleaned the pieces up a bit with my rotary tool, sealed them with a heat gun, and got out my wonderful contact glue that smelled like it had some personal reasons to kill me. I don't know if you were one of those kids back in school that liked sniffing glue, but believe me, even you wouldn't have enjoyed that. It smelled like it was really angry at me, but uh, luckily I do have a bunch of tools to protect my vital organs, like my lungs, because I am no stranger to releasing toxic fumes in my home. But uh, I glued all the pieces together and got more and more excited with every piece, because look how good this already looks. Like I made this, by which I mean I just followed a tutorial but still um it actually looks great 
how? What? Yeah, very nice. That already went well. But I also felt like this was the easy part because now it was time for the antlers. And honestly, I was kind of a bit scared of, of, of this next part. But hey, uh, let's let's get back to, to life me and uh, let's see how it goes. Now I need to design the antlers because I want mine to look a little bit different than the ones from the pattern. So, okay, now it's time to stop blindly following instructions and to start thinking myself. So. Let's see if that still works. Okay, I almost pulled my eye out. Maybe let's not do that. The base for the antlers is done. Working with the wire was more annoying than I expected, but it's done now. I reinforced the parts where the different pieces of wire... It's off. Where the different pieces of wire join with a bit of self-drying clay. This is what it would look like if antlers had a skeleton. And this now needs to dry for a bit. And then it's time for the next step. And that is... Aluminum foil. We gotta wrap that whole thing in some foil. And after that, we are going to cover that whole thing in foam clay. Oh, oh, all right. Okay. Uh, goodbye. Goodbye. Yep. Yep. <laughs> This is how it looks now. I created some details using foam clay and I also covered the entire antlers with foam clay. I don't think I filmed much of the process. Did I, did I even film any, any of it? I don't remember, but um, I was going on a, on a short trip with my friends and I was just desperately trying to finish the foam clay part before I was leaving so that this could dry while I was away. And I managed to do that, but I've kind of forgot to film because I was focusing so much on the passage of time and that I don't have much left. Not in a dramatic way. I'm not about to die, but um, I had to finish this in order to stick to my schedule. So now this is dry, very nice, looking very cool, I think. I am just now going to clean this up a bit with my rotary tool and then I'm uh, yeah, going to add some details with a brush like this made out of metal. And then it's time for color, colors and details. There are 18 days until Halloween. And I'm really proud of myself that I'm I'm not doing this last minute. So um, yeah, I think, I think I still got enough time, definitely for this, but I also need to do the rest of my costume. So I'm still kind of panicking, panicking on the inside, but also 18 days is plenty of time, I think. But I also need to do some decorations um, because my friends and I, we are hosting our little get together. So uh, I also need to do something for that. But um, yeah, costume is the priority for now. I think this looks really cool. I think the foam play like really put this together and I'm kind of proud of myself that I actually managed to do this. Okay, let's clean this up a bit now, uh, add some the last few details and then it's time for coloring. What's up? We're back in front of good old bookshelf here because um, 
the longer I was working on this deer skull, the more chaotic my desk became. And at some point I kind of gave up on cleaning it in between. So we're back in my room now. This is what the deer skull looks like now. I think it looks really cool. I'm really proud that I managed to do this, but it's not done yet because we still will need to add the final touches. We need to do some decorating. Item haul. We got some LED lights. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with this, but we'll figure that out. Next up, I got some bandages. I drenched these in coffee to make them look older. They kind of look disgusting, but it's Halloween, so it's fine. And then also some more string lights that I maybe want to attach to the antlers. And one more thing, I don't have it here right now, but I picked out some stained glass scraps that I have and I thought maybe we could hang these from the antlers and make them look like little crystals because we are also a wizard deer apparently. I think the smartest thing to do is probably to try these string lights first because I'm not sure if this will look good or not. I'm kind of scared that it will make the deer skull look too fancy, but we want it to look scary. So I'm going to try this first. He looks so festive now, but that is definitely not what I was going for. So I think we're going to leave the string lights. Yep. Yep, he's, he looks like he's going to help Santa Claus pull his sleigh. So no lights. Initially, my plan was to get red string lights. I think that maybe could have worked a little bit better, but I couldn't find any red ones. So no lights on the antlers. Next up, let's do these bandages. They really smell like coffee. Dear friends, the mask is done, I think. I still need to attach a, a thingy so that it will actually stay on my head when I put it on. But I will do that once I make the rest of my costume because I plan on making a hooded cape and the mask is supposed to sit on the hood of that cape and I'm not entirely sure yet how I'm going to attach it. So I'm going to do that once the cape is done. But the main part, the mask, it's looking good. It's looking amazing. It's done. I'm so glad that I made it. Congrats to myself. All right. That means Halloween can come. Not not too soon though, because as I said, I still need to make the rest, but the, the hardest part is done, I think. Okay. You won't get a um, mask sitting on my head reveal that I will save for the end once the, the entire costume is done. But of course you will get a mask reveal. Who's a good boy? Yes, you. Yes, you are. You are a good boy. Guys, I actually did it. Remember the time when I was looking for ideas for my Halloween costume and I was like, hey, um, I want, I, I want a deer skull. I don't know how to make or where to get, but I want one. And then I thought, okay, good idea, but not going to actually um, be able to get one. My camera's dying. What I was saying, I, I meant to make a fake deer skull. That looks, actually looks good. Um, tell me what you think. I'm very proud of this one, even though I mainly just followed a tutorial, but even the, that I was able to do that, that's also a reason for me to be proud of myself. Hell yeah, uh, be proud of your own achievements. This is a threat, be proud of you. I'm proud of you, all right. I'm very excited how this turned out. This whole video was a mess. And I'm sorry, but we got it. We we got a cool deer skull out of it. So, 
that makes up for it, right? I can't wait for my and for for the, the uh, for Halloween to uh, my costume. Yes, um, because hold your horses, my little friends. I don't know why I just called you you little, but um, this is only part one because this right here is the centerpiece of my costume. It's the thing people are going to look at, but it's not the entire costume because I still need to make the rest of my costume and I have like five days left. That's not true. I lied. I have like 30 days left, which isn't a lot because I need to sew a cloak and um, figure out what the rest of the costume is going to be. So, <laughs> but uh, I'm going to take you guys with me, of course, because you always have to suffer through this with me. <laughs> so that I'm not alone. Please don't leave me alone. Okay, this this was part. This was this right here. This was part one. <laughs> the amazing part one of my Halloween costume. Part two will probably be uploaded before Halloween because I need to finish this before Halloween. But <gasps> I'm panicking. Do you? Uh, do you guys notice? Go uh, uh, go subscribe because there will be a part two. And also because this cost me so much money. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't make anything from this. And uh, this cost me way more than I wanted it to. And now my bank account is crying, but that's fine, don't it's, 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 it's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. It's worth it because this this looks really amazing and I'm really excited to wear this. All right, uh, thanks for watching. Go subscribe. Tell me in the comments what you think. Uh, leave a like and uh, activate the bell because there will be part two. I you don't have to. I don't, never activate bells because I don't like notifications on my phone. All right. Um, see you soon. We before uh, part two. Yes. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. You guys are great.